we have a couple different laser technologies in the practice. Um, it's, it is amazing the technologies that we have at our fingertips today. And, and again, not, not every dental practice is going to invest and, and maybe be up to date with them. But we do embrace technologies here. Um, I do think that as we evolve in dentistry, there are things that we can do that allows us to do think our job better, uh, to do it more efficiently and more predictably. And so the two technologies that we have, the first one we implemented is a diode laser, this small little laser here, that's pretty much uh, devoted to soft tissue. And so we can do some things with it in conjunction with our hygiene program to help with gum disease. We can do some reshaping of tissues when the gum levels aren't uh, even when we're doing cosmetic procedures and we can also utilize it to trim tissue when we're taking impressions to be able to uh, get a better impression to get a better fit for our crowns and bridges so this little tool is a, a real workhorse in the practice more recently we, we purchased the water lays and the water lays is probably the most sophisticated um, laser on the market in that the wavelength of it allows us to both work on soft tissues and hard tissues so we can do many of the same procedures we can with this with regards to the gum, but the other thing we can do with this is actually cut tooth structure. So it won't cut silver fillings, but for people that are really afraid of the drill, for instance, and don't like that sound, we can actually prepare uh, teeth that have cavities with this, and it makes very little sound. If anything, it's just a slight little popping sound. Now, laser, I think, scares people because you envision like a military laser and there's no control over it. But the truth with laser technology is the settings are so sophisticated that we can literally be doing a cell layer at a time. So the specificity for what we can work and what we can remove and how we can shape ever improves. But uh, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about these technologies because I do think for patients that... Uh, want the latest and maybe they're a little afraid of dentistry the way it's been done in the past. We've got two technologies here that allow us to do our job even better, uh, even more efficiently, and in the end provide you with a service that uh, is going to be uh, superior. We hope to see you soon.